It's your boy EB. You're watching EB Family ENT. And if you like what you see, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button so you could become part of EB but, but Family. So thank you, Elena, for doing another Smash into Pieces. We just reacted to Smash into Pieces for the first one. In the first one, like at first, uh, it, it, but it doesn't look like the same guys here in this one. So, the original, the lead singer of this band, I guess you want to say, I don't really know. It's obviously a band, but from what the first video I just watched of them, he, there was someone else there with them. And I liked his voice better at first. But then in the second half of that reaction, or that song, I loved the lead singer's voice. So, now I, it seems like I get to really hear his voice. So I'm excited for that. So thank you, Elena. Let's get it and let's go. Lost in this world, I'm an outcast. I'm walking alone, guess I'm the only one. They are in the middle of the like show. Like I don't belong. Got no trust for this place to in my way. I'm fighting cause I'm lost in a danger zone. Yeah, his voice I just is bring it on. I'm the good and I'm the bad guy. Every little story has I'm the villain and the hero, no, no, uh, damn, what did he just say? No, no fear, oh yeah, I'm the hero, I'm the villain and the hero, no fear, though, that's fire, like, he's both, he's always both, he's always stuck right in the dang middle, he can never, he can't please everybody, but he's also the enemy to everybody, but then there's also, he's loved and hated constantly, uh, yeah, and, but it's not just with that, y'all, it goes deeper than that. He's talking about, like, every aspect in his life. A lot of people have felt this way before. It's like, you feel like you're doing something right on one end, but on the other end, you feel like you're not doing enough, or you feel like you're not, you're not, I wouldn't say pleasing people, because, like, me personally, when I felt like this, I don't really care about pleasing people in any way, um, but, that's why I say it just goes with every aspect in your life. It depends on what it is, right? Like if it's a relationship, you want, you feel like maybe you're not doing enough, but at the same time, you feel like you're overdoing things. Like I've thought like that a lot before. Um, I've also can apply that to when I'm working. I can apply that to doing YouTube. I can apply that to anything really. And you just always feel that way. And then you always feel with the ne with the positive, there's going to come negative. With negative, there's, it's, it's always making you be stuck in the middle. Some people call that balancing out. But in a situation like this, I wouldn't really call it balancing out. I would, I would call it like trapped in the middle. And you never really know which way to go from it. Only one, like I don't belong. Yes, we are, Jack. Got no trust for this place to in my way I'm fighting cause I'm lost in a danger zone Just bring it on I'm the good and I'm the bad guy Every little story has two sides I'm the villain and the hero No fear, no Cause I'm the only fucking real He said, I'll lick my wounds. So basically, these, these wounds, these scars, they're, they're not affecting me. I don't care. Like, I could get... Basically, right now, I'm, like, envisioning he got shot, right? And you're, like, in the middle of an effing war. This is what is going on in my head. Like, you're in, he's in the middle of a damn war or a gunfight or a, or a stabbing, something. And he's, he's fucking running full blast into this battle with all these wounds on them and it's not affecting them like the damn terminator or something even though i don't rock with uh whatever his name is arnold schwarzenegger i don't really rock well i do but i don't rock with the shit that he was trying to put out in the world i'll say that but 
Yeah. That's that's what like is going on in my head. And then and then the background of this is fun is fire too. Like where the hell are they at? At first I thought they took a scene from Star Wars. That's what it reminded me of. It reminded me of damn Star Wars for a second. But no, that's a real place that they're at. Where the hell are they? I'm the villain and the hero. No fear, no. Take me, break me, only made me stronger Trying to change me, shake me, but I didn't bother, no Yeah, I mean, I know that, like, to, to some people, they may think that was simple, like, I, with the words, I'm, I'm the good, I'm the bad, I'm the bad, I'm the good. But to me, that was fire, how he was, like, how he's just singing that. And everything with this song is hitting me right here. Like, I feel this song. I can feel every word of what he's saying right now. So, to me, it's, like, amplifying it. But I just thought that was cool how he did, like, I'm, I'm the good, I'm the bad, I'm, and then... And he didn't just say, I'm the good, I'm the bad, I'm the bad, I'm the good. He said, he put something else in there in the middle, too. And I just thought that was dope the way he did it. Oh yeah, they are fire, Elena. They are effing fire. Like he is dope, and of like every word, I rocked with every word. And then I, I kept wanting to talk about. I don't need to bring the big guns. I thought that that's my favorite line in the whole song, because of what it's going with. Because he's saying like I'm I'm the I'm the hero. I'm the villain. I'm the hero. Um, I'm the only effing real one. And then I don't need to bring the big guns. It's like. I don't need to do too much. I don't need to show out for people. I don't need to, you know, uh, act a certain way around people or with things I'm doing. I just need to be me. And, and that ties into being the real one. And you guys should all, I, I mean, obviously a lot of people that watch this, 99.999% of people that watch my reactions don't know me in real life. But, from whatever you can possibly see from all my lives and reactions and whatnot. I, you know, there's a lot of people that say, I'm real, I'm a real one, I'm real, I'm real. You know, that's all just broken words to me most of the time. It's, it's more about your action and what I see. But one thing I will say for me personally is like, I, I always talk about this on my channel where it's, I always say just be yourself, you know, be yourself. I don't give a shit what people think. I think people know that. I think that's pretty obvious that showcased over here. I don't care what I'm doing, how I act. I'm not here to impress nobody. I'm never here to impress nobody. I never want to impress nobody. Um, 
And that's I I I really like apply that in my life on an everyday basis, no matter where I go. That's why everywhere I'm ever at, even at work, in the mill everywhere I go, it's like people will always find something with me. And most of the same both people say the same thing. People that don't even know each other usually end up saying the same exact thing. It's like you you you're so funny. You're funny without trying to be funny. And it's always in a good way, I guess you would say, but I know that, you know, I some of that comes from like you're very easy to be to laugh at, right? Because but I look at that in a positive way, not a negative way, because to me, that's that's the kind of persona I put out in the world. Like I never care. I don't do not care and I never will. And so that song hit home with me. So thank you for that one, Elena. That was effing fire. And of course his voice was dope too. But the background was one of the best parts. Like I want to know where the hell they were at. Where the hell were they at? They were on top of an effing mountain. He had a snowmobile there. So I feel like that was a real scene. I don't feel like that was uh is it would it be CGI or like a background, whatever it is. I feel like they were really there. But nowadays, you really never know. So thank you, Elena. 